What if I told you that modern science is rewriting the history of an ancient people? For centuries, the story of Jewish ancestry has been told through sacred texts, oral traditions, and historical accounts. But now, genetics is revealing secrets buried deep within human DNA, secrets that confirm, challenge, and even expand what we thought we knew about Jewish origins. Scientists have been meticulously studying the genomes of Jewish populations worldwide, and the results are astonishing. From small villages in Eastern Europe to remote communities in Africa, people identifying as Jewish share remarkable genetic similarities, despite being separated by thousands of miles and hundreds of years. How is that possible? And what does it tell us about the true origins of the Jewish people? The discoveries are both surprising and profound. Ancient DNA, unearthed from archaeological sites in the Middle East, aligns with the genetic markers found in modern Jewish populations. This connection stretches back thousands of years, linking contemporary Jews to the ancient Israelites who once lived in the lands of Canaan. But that's just the beginning. As we dig deeper, the genetic evidence tells a story of migration, exile, and resilience. It shows how Jewish communities splintered and spread across continents, yet somehow retained a shared genetic thread. From the Ashkenazi Jews of Europe to the Sephardic Jews of Spain and the Mizrahi Jews of the Middle East, each group carries a unique piece of the puzzle. Even more mind-blowing? There are people in far-flung regions of Africa and Asia whose DNA suggests a connection to lost Jewish tribes. Could these be descendants of ancient migrations, carrying the echoes of forgotten histories in their cells? This video is going to take you on a journey, one where science meets history and DNA becomes a time machine. We'll break down what researchers have discovered, explore the genetic impact of the diaspora, and confront the controversies surrounding genetics and identity. Because this isn't just a story about the past. It's a living narrative, written in the blood of millions, reminding us how interconnected human history truly is. So, buckle up, the truth is more fascinating than fiction, and we're about to uncover it together. The origins of the Jewish people stretch back thousands of years, rooted in the ancient lands of the Levant, modern-day Israel, Palestine, and surrounding regions. But how do we know this? Well, thanks to genetics, scientists have traced the lineage of Jewish populations back to a common ancestral source that aligns almost perfectly with historical accounts of the ancient Israelites. DNA studies have revealed that most Jewish populations share a significant portion of their ancestry with people who lived in the Near East around 3,000 years ago. This lines up with the timeline of the early Israelites, who are believed to have emerged as a distinct group in Canaan. Genetic markers found in bones from ancient burial sites in Israel and Jordan show striking similarities to those present in Jewish communities today, a biological fingerprint that spans millennia. One of the most compelling discoveries involves the Y chromosome, passed down through the male line. Researchers found that many Jewish men, especially those in the priestly Kohanim lineage, carry a unique genetic marker that can be traced back to a single common ancestor who lived around the time of the biblical exodus. This has been called the Cohen modal haplotype, and its presence across various Jewish groups suggests a shared paternal origin. But it's not just about paternal DNA. Studies of mitochondrial DNA, which is passed from mother to child, have shown that many Jewish populations also descend from a small group of maternal ancestors who lived in the Middle East thousands of years ago. This maternal lineage adds another layer of evidence linking modern Jews to their ancient roots. The genetics don't just prove continuity, they reveal resilience. Despite centuries of upheaval, displacement, and persecution, the core genetic identity of Jewish populations remained remarkably intact. Even as Jewish communities adapted to local cultures and environments, their DNA preserved the imprint of their ancient homeland. What's incredible is that this genetic continuity supports historical and biblical narratives. It shows that the Jewish people didn't just emerge from myth or legend, they are a living bridge to an ancient civilization whose legacy endures, not just in culture and faith, but in the very cells of their descendants. Science is turning human history into a detective story, and in the case of Jewish ancestry, the clues left behind in DNA are painting an unbroken portrait of a people who carried their history with them, 
generation after generation. The Jewish diaspora is one of the most remarkable stories of survival and identity in human history. After the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 CE, Jewish communities scattered across Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. But what's incredible is that, despite being separated by thousands of miles, their DNA still shows a shared ancestry. Genetic studies reveal that Jewish populations across the globe, from Ashkenazi Jews in Europe to Mizrahi Jews in the Middle East, all trace back to common ancient roots in the Levant. However, as these communities settled in new lands, their genomes picked up local influences through intermarriage and adaptation. For example, Ashkenazi Jews, who settled in Central and Eastern Europe, show a mix of Middle Eastern and European ancestry. Scientists have discovered a genetic bottleneck event where the Ashkenazi population shrank to just a few thousand people during the Middle Ages before expanding again. This resulted in distinct genetic traits that still persist today. Meanwhile, Sephardic Jews, who lived in Spain and Portugal, and Mizrahi Jews, who remained in the Middle East, retained even stronger links to ancient Levantine DNA, reflecting their closer proximity to the ancestral homeland. What's extraordinary is how genetic markers act as historical breadcrumbs, showing not just migration patterns, but also how Jewish identity endured. Even after centuries of displacement, Jewish communities maintained enough genetic continuity to prove they all come from the same ancient source. DNA has essentially validated what Jewish tradition has always claimed, that no matter how far they traveled, Jews carried their heritage within them, written in their very cells. And this genetic unity is a testament to a people who refuse to be erased by history. One of the most fascinating aspects of Jewish genetics is the search for the lost tribes of Israel. According to biblical accounts, ten of the twelve tribes of Israel were exiled by the Assyrians in the 8th century BCE, disappearing from history. But could their descendants still exist today? Genetics might hold the answer. Scientists have studied Jewish communities in unexpected places, like the Bene Israel in India, the Limba people of southern Africa, and the Beta Israel of Ethiopia. Astonishingly, these groups carry genetic markers that link them to ancient Jewish populations, even after centuries of isolation. The Limba people, for instance, have a high frequency of the Cohen modal haplotype, the same Y chromosome marker found in Jewish priestly lineages. The Limba also have oral traditions of Middle Eastern ancestry, and their DNA seems to confirm those stories, suggesting they might be descendants of ancient Jewish traders. Similarly, the Bene Israel community in India carries mitochondrial DNA that traces back to the Middle East, aligning with their historical claims of Jewish ancestry. These genetic connections offer tangible evidence that remnants of the lost tribes may have survived, scattered across the globe. What's incredible is how these findings blur the line between myth and reality. The idea that people on opposite sides of the world could share an ancient lineage, and that this connection is still detectable in their DNA, speaks to the enduring legacy of Jewish history. Every genetic discovery adds a new chapter to this unfolding story, showing that even when history loses track of a people, their DNA keeps the record. And maybe, just maybe, the lost tribes were never truly lost, they were simply waiting to be found. Genetics has already unlocked astonishing secrets about Jewish ancestry, but the story is far from over. As technology advances, scientists are diving even deeper into DNA, uncovering new details that could reshape our understanding of Jewish history and identity. One promising area of research involves ancient DNA. By extracting genetic material from archaeological remains in Israel and surrounding regions, researchers can directly compare ancient genomes to modern Jewish populations. This could reveal even more precise information about historical migrations, population splits, and the impact of historical events on genetic diversity. Another exciting development is the study of epigenetics, how environmental factors influence gene expression. For example, researchers are exploring whether centuries of persecution, displacement, and trauma left genetic imprints on Jewish populations. Understanding this could provide valuable insights into how genetics and history intertwine on a deeper level. Genetic research is also helping modern Jewish communities connect with their roots. 
People using DNA testing services are discovering hidden Jewish ancestry, reconnecting with lost traditions, and even finding long-lost relatives. This personal aspect of genetic discovery adds a powerful emotional layer to the science, turning DNA results into bridges between past and present. Of course, these discoveries also come with challenges. The genetic diversity within Jewish populations is immense, and scientists must carefully navigate the complexities of identity, culture, and history. But every discovery, no matter how small, adds another piece to the puzzle of Jewish origins. In many ways, Jewish genetics is like a living archive, a constantly evolving record of survival, resilience, and connection. And as research continues to evolve, who knows what other secrets might emerge from the strands of DNA, waiting to tell the next chapter of this ancient and extraordinary story. Genetic research doesn't just connect Jewish people to their biblical roots, it also uncovers links to ancient empires and civilizations that shaped their history. DNA evidence shows that Jewish populations share ancestry with people from ancient Mesopotamia, Phoenicia, and even the Roman Empire. For example, genetic studies revealed that Ashkenazi Jews carry markers tied to ancient populations from the eastern Mediterranean, overlapping with people who lived in regions ruled by the Babylonian and Persian empires. This aligns with historical events like the Babylonian exile, when Jews were forcibly taken to Mesopotamia, where some remained even after returning to Judea. Meanwhile, Sephardic Jews show genetic ties to the Iberian Peninsula, but with clear Levantine roots, reflecting their migration through the Roman world. This reinforces historical records of Jewish communities thriving under Roman rule, spreading across the empire as traders, scholars, and artisans. One of the most fascinating discoveries involves the Phoenicians, seafaring merchants who influenced Mediterranean culture. Genetic analysis suggests some Jewish lineages may trace back to these ancient traders, hinting at interactions that shape both genetic and cultural identity. These genetic connections reveal how deeply intertwined Jewish history is with the broader ancient world. Every migration, exile, and empire left traces in the DNA of Jewish communities, preserving not just their own history but fragments of the civilizations around them. In this way, Jewish DNA acts like a living historical archive, documenting thousands of years of interaction, adaptation, and survival. And the more scientists explore this genetic legacy, the more we understand just how connected human history truly is. Genetic discoveries have reshaped our understanding of Jewish history, but they also raise profound questions about identity. What does it really mean to be Jewish? And how does DNA fit into that identity? Scientists have shown that Jewish populations share common genetic threads, but they're also incredibly diverse. The DNA of an Ashkenazi Jew from Poland might be quite different from a Mizrahi Jew from Iraq, yet both carry ancient markers linking them to the Levant. This shared ancestry reflects a deep historical connection, but it's only part of the story. Being Jewish has never been purely about genetics. It's also about culture, religion, and tradition passed down through generations. Genetic research can trace ancient migrations and uncover hidden lineages, but it can't define personal identity. For many people, being Jewish is as much about shared history, collective memory, and spiritual connection as it is about biology. At the same time, genetic research has helped people rediscover lost parts of themselves. DNA testing has revealed hidden Jewish ancestry for people whose families were forced to convert during times of persecution. For some, these discoveries have sparked a journey back to their roots, reconnecting them with a heritage they never knew they had. Ultimately, DNA is just one piece of a much larger mosaic. It tells a powerful story of survival, resilience, and continuity, but the essence of Jewish identity lies in the living community, in the traditions, languages, and values that have carried the Jewish people through millennia. Science may reveal where the Jewish people came from, but their enduring spirit and cultural legacy show us why they've persisted. And that's a story far bigger than anything written in our genes.